seconds. This is the definition of derivatives under 100 seconds. Let's start by analyzing this function, y equals x squared. If we graph it, it looks something like this. Now, if I told you to find the rate of change between these two points, you'd use the rate of change formula, f2 minus f1 over 2 minus 1 for the situation. And you get a correct answer of 3. But if we bring these two points together, forming a tangent line at 1, 1, we can see that the rate of change approaches 2. But how? How can you calculate a rate of change at one point? Because it requires two points. Well, let's start by looking at the rate of change formula and zooming in on this graph of y equals x squared. Now, if we look at two points, x and x plus h, where h is a very small increment, we can approximate the tangent line by using these two points, replacing b with x plus h, and a with simply x. Simplifying gives us this. And to capture what happens as h approaches 0, we use a limit. This is the definition of derivative, how you calculate the slope at a certain point of a certain function. Now let's check if this actually works with f of x equals x squared. Using the definition of a derivative, let's first find f of x plus h. We plug in x plus h for x squared, we expand, and then we plug in. Same thing with f of x. It's just x squared as given, so we plug that in. Now we can subtract like terms, subtract the x squared, we're left with this, factor out the h, we're left with this, and then cancel out the h's from the numerator and denominator, we're left with this. After plugging in 0 for h, we're left with f prime of x equals 2x, and if we try to evaluate f prime of 1, we get 2, which matches what we got from analyzing our graph of x squared. 